Part 4. We are going to continue with angles formed within parallel lines. You will find this on page 169 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at example 5. Work out the value of X. Now can you see that these lines, they are parallel? Can you also see that this is forming a U or a C. Now, what do I know about that? This co-interior angles will be supplementary. They will add up to 180 degrees. So, I can form an equation. I can say X plus 56 plus X plus 4 will be equal to 180 degrees because it's co-interior angles of parallel lines. Then, 1 plus 1 will be 2X. I subtract the 56 and the 4 on both sides. Then I just simplify it and I get that my value of x is 60 degrees. Now, what does it mean? If I substitute the 60 in there, then 60 plus 56 will be 116. 60 plus 4 will be 64. And if I add up that, I will get exactly 180 degrees. Okay. I want you to do for me, try now five, number A, as well as number C. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start with number A. Now, if you look at this, can you see the lines are parallel? So, this will be again co interior angles. So basically, if I'm going to look at that one, I'm just going to say x plus 2x will be supplementary. That means 180. And we can just say this is the interior angles of parallel lines. Co-interior angles. Then if I simplify, this will be 3x this will be 180. I divide 3. I divide 3. Oh, let's just 3. And my value of x will also be 60. So that will be 60. 2 times 60 is 120. And 120 plus 60 will give me the 180. Okay. Let's look at number C. Now, if you look at this one, you will see... Okay. We can first, first to make it easier... We want to get an F. Now, let's just see how I can get the F. Can you see? There is the F. So, basically, I can first work out this angle. Now, how do I work out that angle? It's a straight line. So, let's just work out that angle first. And we can call that angle Y. Doesn't matter. Any alphabet letter. So, to find Y, or let's just say Y plus... 76 degrees is going to be 180. And my reason, it's the adjacent angles on a straight line. So to find Y, I'm just going to say 180 minus 76, and that is going to be 104. Okay. Now, this is 104. Now, I can go to my corresponding angles. And I can just say that this will be equal. So, I can go and say x plus 14 will be equal to 104. And that will be corresponding angles and its parallel lines. So basically, to find the value of x, it's going to be 104 minus that 14. So the value of x will be 90 degrees. Okay, so 90 plus 114, uh, 14 will give me an answer of 104 degrees.